What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another Forza 5 drift build. Now, I kind of thought that with the last drift build being really really silly, um I uh, I should probably do another serious one and um, I'm going to the subject of this drift build is going to be the 2011 Holden HSV GTS and this thing will kind of get sideways already. So I'm I'm expecting it to be pretty effective after upgrades. Now, I don't think I'm going to get a, um, a livery on it. I'm probably just going to go ahead and choose one of the colors because there are actually quite a few colors for this car. If it would actually go to a wide shot, which it will in a second, hopefully. There we go, it's fading. Okay, so you can see we got silver, red, orange, yellow. Bunch of nice colors, actually, to be honest. That blue looks quite nice, too. But you know what? I'm going to go with... I think it looks beast in, in that, that orange. That's a really nice color for this car. It looks it looks gorgeous, I think. The wheels, there's actually a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of controversy over these wheels because some people think they look cool and some people absolutely despise them. So I, I will be personally, I will be switching them out, but I don't hate them. Like, I don't hate them. If I had this car, like, in, like, even in, like, real life, for example, yeah, I might change the rims, but I don't hate the stock rims. I, I personally, I mean, they're a little different, but I don't hate them. That's for sure. I don't, I don't like hate the rims. So let's go ahead and go to the upgrade shop. And first thing we're going to do is get a race brake kit on there. Upgrade the brakes. Absolutely need to do that. Um, and lower the suspension. Oh, wow. Let's see. So we've got, we've got, let's see. We've got the sports and the race springs to go. Let's just go all the way over the race. See how far it drops it. And boom. Not bad. That's a nice stance. That is a really nice stance. I mean, look at the front of that car. Look how low that is. That just looks mean from the front. But when I look at it from the front, I'm I I you know what? When I look at it from the front, I I keep wishing that I can slowly spin the camera around and it will end up being a Ute. But unfortunately not. Unfortunately, there is no Ute in Forza 5, which I'm kind of bummed about. I'm kind of bummed that none of the big simulators have Utes. Um, well, maybe GT does. I'll check the next time I'm on GT6. But Forza, they don't have a Ute. They don't have a Ute. And they need one. They, they do. They need one. I feel like they need one because it's, it's just one of those cool vehicles that you don't see very... Well, maybe if you live in Australia, you do. But... You just don't see them very often, and they're cool. I love Utes. So, absolutely a car that I think we need to see more of. Now, um, these look okay. These, um, these modular M3s. So are the M7s. I think blacked out M7s would look beast, but let's look at the others and just see what we can find. Um, those look okay, the TSW Catalunias, but, um... So do the, uh, the Racing Dynamics RS2s. In fact, I like the Racing Dynamics RS2s a lot. I'm going with those. Those look legit. Can I do the color on them now? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, and I don't think I have to change the size, but let's just see how it looks. Start with the rear. Uh, 20, 20s or 21s? I think 20s are plenty. I think 20s are plenty for this car. I don't, I don't see the need to go up a size, personally. I just, I don't think it, it... I don't think the car, like, really, really needs that. So, let's go ahead and get all the drivetrain stuff out of the way right now, just so we can go ahead and, uh, get that out of the way right now, so I can repeat myself. But, uh, um, definitely needing a race driveline, and obviously, I I'm, you know what, I'm surprised with that these don't already have a limited slip differential, because they, I mean, they're going... People are going to take them sideways anyway. That's what they buy these cars for. That's what they buy these cars for, to do burnouts and drift them, especially in Australia. Australians Australians are drift crazy. You could look at Domestic Mango. Look at Domestic Mango. Australians are drift crazy. Let's see. I don't know how much power I want to hit. You know what? Let's max it. We might as well just max it. We might as well just go all out, max the thing, and just have fun with it. Nearly 500 horsepower already. Um, you had a race exhaust in there. Open that thing up, make it sound absolutely amazing. Definitely need a race cam. Well, we don't need it, but I want it, so I'm putting it in. <laughs> I'm putting it in. I don't. I want it, so I'm putting it in. Um, let's see. Bore this thing out to a six and a half liter. 
And I'm not going to do an engine swap and leave the stock engine, but I am going to stick some type of forced induction on it. Most likely twin turbos if they offer them. If they offer twin turbos, then I'll go that route. Um, if they don't offer any turbos, then obviously our only option is a supercharger, so we'll go with that. But if they offer twin turbos, that's what we're going with. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Uh, aspiration conversion. Twins. A twin screw supercharger or a centrifugal supercharger. Um, we're going with twins. We have to. Um, well, we don't have to, but I really, really want to go with twin turbos on this thing because I think it would be abs an absolute monster with twin turbos. Um, I was going to look at the engine swaps, but we don't need to. We don't need to. Uh, you know, and I'm not even going to bother to look at that. I'm not even going to bother to look at it because I don't even want it. Um, for the turbos... Going to get a full race turbo kit that's going to put it to 873 horsepower. 873! Race intercooler, 921 horsepower. That's nearly as much power as my 1,000 horsepower GT500. This thing's going to be a beast. Now, let's tune it and put a base setup on it. My base setup on, it, on, on this car should be plenty. It should be fine. I mean, I imagine it would be fine right now. I mean, right now, right off the bat, I could take this thing out on the track, get it completely sideways, it'd be good to go. It, it wouldn't fight me, it would just, it would be totally compliant. I'm 99.9998% sure of that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a base setup on it anyway, because I just like to do that. I feel like it gives me... It gives me a, at least a little bit of control of what's going on with the car, and I kind of like to have that. So, bring this down a little bit. Uh, eight. Get that. Seven and a half. Six. No, six and a half. And six. And fully 100% on the diff. Apply that. And let's go ahead and test drive this thing. Now, as far as where we're going to go, let's see. Um, I feel like we should go to Bathurst because it's Australia. It's because it's an Australian car. But then again, Bathurst, I mean, yeah, it's it's okay for drifting. But I feel like there are other tracks like Prague that are better. Like, just, uh, that are better for drifting. I, I'm not saying that the Prague Circus is a better track than Bathurst because I don't want a bunch of people hating on me for saying that. But, I mean, Bathurst is an amazing track. I love Bathurst. I, I absolutely love it. And you know what? Uh... As I look through these, you know what? You know what? It's an Aussie drift car. We're going to Bathurst. It's an Aussie drift car. We might as well, right? We might as well. It's an Aussie drift car. I mean, yeah, there's a big straight, but who cares? Who cares? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Although I am really excited to drive this thing. Extremely excited just because of the power and I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. I think it looks, I think it looks absolutely badass. Just the whole look of that thing. God, it's gorgeous. That sounds amazing. Absolutely amazing. Not bad at burnouts either. Let's go ahead and warm those up. Dang, this smoke looks, uh, look, honestly, this smoke looks terrible after coming over from GT6. It's not bad, but dang, the GT6 smoke is so much better. Pretty basic interior, but then again, it's, you don't need a, you don't need a fancy interior on this car. You really don't. Because that monster under the hood more than makes up for it. Feels so good to be back in an effective drift car again. After that insane mini. This thing isn't bad on the straights, either. Hey, that's climbing real fast! Woo! Bring it down. Heard it backfiring a lot on those downshifts. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Never done any points drifting here before, and I'm kind of scared of it because of the walls. They're so close, they feel like they're gonna uh, hit you at any time. Well, no, the walls don't hit you, you hit them. But sometimes when you hit them, it feels like they've hit you. It feels like the walls are out to get you sometimes when you're drifting, to be honest. Oh, transition it, yes! 
keep it going, keep it going. I don't know the scoring zones here, because like I said, I've never, ever drifted here before. I've raced here a bunch, but never drifted here. So, or at least points drifted, so I don't know um, how the scoring system works. With the, well, I know how the scoring system, the system itself works, but I don't know where all the scoring zones for this track are. That starts quite far up the hill, actually. Oh, this downhill is tricky. Very tricky. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, what? Why you no be scoring section? Oh, this corner better be a scoring section. Yeah, I was like, that better be a scoring section. Freaking iconic corner right here. That's not a scoring section out onto the straight. At least we get to nail it again, though, and hear that amazing V8, the twin-turbo V8. And I feel like also, in turn, where I've said that Forza's smoke looks like crap compared to GT6's smoke, there's a flip side to that. Um, GT6's car sounds sound like oh crap i've got off i've got off dang it dang it dang it get it back get it back get it back just focusing on car sounds um but yeah gt6's car sounds well like while while gt6 may have better smoke their car sounds are crap i mean compared to forza like forza's car sounds sound like real life they really do sound like real life uh gt's car sounds sound like synthesized vacuum cleaners um and if you don't believe me, go either watch some of my GT6 videos or... No, 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 no! Why? Dang it. I went into that corner way too hot. It's... Yeah, that was my fault completely. Let's try and actually pull out a clean lap here, though. Um, I, I feel like, though, that GT6, they... At least, well, GT5, GT6, even GT4, they, they, they continuously seem to miss the boat on car sounds. And if they had just do that and combine it with the smoke... They'd have one hell of a winning recipe. They really would. It's kind of actually, even with all this power, it's kind of hard to kick this thing out. Um, just because of, well, two things. Turbo lag and, um, and those giant rear tires which I put on that were probably a mistake. And, dang it, really? Are you serious? God, I'm not, not a fan of drifting here right now. I need to practice it a lot if I'm going to get better. Like, I need to practice this track. I feel like, I mean, if I wanted to just show off, I could have gone to, I could have gone to, um, Prague or something if I just wanted to take this car and show off because it's a wide circuit. It's a wide circuit with a bunch of long corners. We can really wind out the turbos, but I feel like, honestly, I feel like I need to, I need to work on improving my skill on other tracks rather than just going to, Prague and Bernie's Alps over and over and over again and be like, you know, be like, oh, hey, we're, and, you know, we're going into this corner at, you know, we're doing 120 mile an hour entry at 90 degrees, just like we did last time, you know what I mean? I feel like I need to be, whoa, even though those tracks are fun, don't screw it up, don't screw it up, don't screw it up, whoa, okay, I thought I was going straight for the wall, um, that I feel like instead of just doing those same tracks over and over and over and over and over again, I feel like I need to, um, I guess you could say, not only, not only go to other tracks, but improve my, my own drifting by going to other tracks, because I feel like if you stick with the same tracks too much, yeah, you get really, you get really good at those tracks, but you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again, you know what I mean? You're kind of doing the same thing, and once you reach that point, you kind of need to branch out into other tracks, and once you branch out into other tracks, that's when you really start to boost your skill, and when you come back to the older tracks, your skill will be that much better because you've picked up other tricks and techniques and tactics from all of the other tracks that you went and practiced on and then you come back to the ones that you're used to and you'll be way better and yeah i definitely need to uh to lower the tire size on this car i think i definitely need to uh oh break 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 yeah i definitely need to bring down the tire size because i think they are still um too big and after just driving that mini i'm still a little skittish about throwing this thing in at high speeds just because of what that mini did, but, um, but overall, though, awesome car, awesome feeling car, um, 
thing for me is I'm gonna take the tire size down just because I feel like I I made it too big in the first place. I mean, this thing comes with super fat tires anyway, so I should have realized that I didn't really need to do that. But I mean, I'll go back and change it because overall this thing works great. Over overall, I really like this car. It sounds great. It looks great. And it is decently effective as well, so I'll continue to practice with this car and uh, hone the setup. And if you guys want to copy it, that's perfectly okay. Um, go ahead, copy the setup, practice with it yourself, make it your own. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.